Hey guys, welcome to another episode of me not doing my hair, my makeup, or trying to look presentable for the world, but putting my life out there. And I'm being very sarcastic because seriously, my goal, well, one of my personal goals was to actually put effort into getting ready for my videos. But you know what? It's January 1st, I slept until noon, and I just didn't feel like doing anything, and I have no problem with that. So, this is what we're gonna work with, and I have for you guys my brand new budget for January, and a lot has changed for my budget compared to last month and like October and like November and things like that. So I'm really excited to show you guys my new numbers. Um, let's get into some sinking funds because I am going to include two sinking funds for January, even though I'm not working, which I said before that I wasn't going to, but I think I am. Sorry if my hair is a mess. I haven't brushed it since yesterday and I washed it yesterday. So yeah, I'm just, you know, living life right now. But first things first, sinking funds. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six sinking funds that I'm going to be working with for the year. However, I'm only going to include two for January. And the two that I'm going to include is number one, travel and number two, gifting. Traveling, I'm going to include because in May, Gary and I are going to go on a cruise to the Bahamas. So I'm super excited for that trip. I want to say that this is going to be one of the only trips that I've ever done cash flow, which just means that technically the money will be saved up for it and I don't have to worry about paying anything back when I come back. So um, the way that I have it set up, this month I'm going to put $250 away for the trip and I'm going to do $250 every single month up until may so that way i have a thousand dollars for the vacation M mind you the actual vacation will be paid off by then as well so that i have no issue with now my second sinking fund is going to be gifting we actually decided that for the kids next year we're going to do an experience with them and obviously we'll get them their stockings um maybe a gift that they want and a gift that they need and the rest of the gifting money will be going towards an experience with the kids. Um, obviously, I'll also get my mom, my brother, my dad, my nephew. Like, also get them a present. But obviously, I'm not going to go all out and stuff like that. So I feel like that will just make Christmas a little bit better for us. Now for my fixed expenses. A couple things changed a little bit. And some changed for the good and some changed for the bad. I have nine fixed expenses for the month. The first one is rent. Usually I budget $400 give give or take. And my car loan is a fixed expense for me. And that I budget $339. My car insurance went up. Thank you accident. It went up to 120. So I will be paying 120. Uh, my phone. So this is where um, it changed a little bit. I don't know if you guys saw in my last video, but I had my phone on the table and maybe you guys noticed, maybe you guys didn't, but I have a brand new phone. Um, this is my phone and um, there's a picture of Gary and I FaceTiming, but yeah, I got a new phone because I guys, I went from having the 6S Plus to the 11 Max Pro Max whatever um I didn't want to do it I was in the, I was in AT&T store and I was FaceTiming Gary I'm like do I do it do I not do it he's like Christina I don't even see you when I FaceTime well, like when we FaceTime we don't even see each other and um mind you my audio in my phone was broken nobody could ever hear me I had to have it on speaker for people to be able to hear me uh, no one could see me in FaceTime because my camera was so broken and when you, I tried to take pictures the camera would shake um, like something was wrong in the inside of it so I couldn't take any pictures and believe me it, my phone was jacked up I promise so for my phone is $60 and it's what 45 bucks more or something like that so it's not that bad but still um, my plan is January and February, I'm only going to do the minimum, but starting March, 
until December, I'm going to pay off the phone. So that way starting 2021, I won't have that bill. But so that was, that was a long rant about my phone, but yeah, so I got a new phone. Moving on, I have Netflix, so I pay 14 bucks for that. Obviously that's a fixed expense, like I said, because everyone in my house, even my family up in Wisconsin uses my account. So I also have Hulu. I got Hulu for a month. Gary ended up loving it and I ended up getting a promotion on it. So I pay, I budget $3, but I pay 208 for it. So that's amazing. So that will be for a whole year that I only pay 208. My internet is $25 and I actually already paid my internet, which I just sent Gary money for internet and that was, that's already taken care of. Planet Fitness is $24. Now, this is another expense that changed, which was my health and dental insurance. Right now, I, well, last month, I paid $75 for health and dental, and my insurance went up $25, so now I pay $100. I think the exact amount is $99.15, so there's that. <laughs> Yay me. I hate being an adult sometimes. Now let's go into some variable expenses. For example, my food for this month, I'm budgeting $100. Gas, I'm budgeting $100. Couponing and fun, I'm budgeting $40. Pets, I'm budgeting $25 because they do need food and they need some litter. Home, I'm going to actually, I put $0 down, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to put $20 bucks because... My Christmas tree is like sitting on the floor over there by the bar and I just need a container to put that I need a container to put that in there might have been another item that I wanted to get but anyways I'm just gonna budget 20 bucks and hopefully that covers everything I, I don't need anything personally but obviously for the house the house doesn't need much either um acorns I have two dollars that I'm going to budget for because I do pay for the membership and CVS is five dollars but that I I take it out of the 40 so I technically only spend like $35 on couponing per month so I forgot to announce you guys that Gary and I are going to do the quarter challenge essentially all it is is like day one which is today I would put a quarter in day two I would put two quarters in day three three blah 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 and so on and so on and so on but Gary and I are going to do it together so the way that we are going to do it is a little bit different. I took the printout and we're gonna do it per month. So for example, the month of January, we each need to put $50.75 in to cover the whole month. So instead of like doing it by day and making it like super confusing and super weird, I just, um, I'm gonna break it up by month. And hopefully by the end of the year, we have $16,000 saved up between the two of us. Um, we were kind of going back and forth as to what we were going to do with the money. And I think we came up with the idea of with the 16000 that's supposed to be saved up, we're going to, uh, whatchamacallit, he's going to have 2000 to do what he wants with it. I'm going to have 2000 to do what I want with it. And then the rest of it will sit in a savings account for the, for the both of us. So that's really cool. I'm really excited about that because I... I feel like we're doing something together financially and mind you we already have a credit card together um obviously we are on the lease together we have furniture together like we have done business together we also had like a little savings account together i'm not necessarily under our two names but we both had money in 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 an in an account um that was under my name but he had money in there as well so i for me and him, finances are such like finances is such an easy topic for me and him, and I and I love that. I will literally be like, "Hey, how much money do you have in your account?" <laughs> Which is kind of pretty. It's not bad, but now tell him like straight up like, "Dude, this is all I got in my account right now." So I just want to give Gary a shout out really quick because he seriously was there for me like crazy. Um, I'm not going to say the exact amount that he gave me, but Gary gave me some money so that way my bills were paid up. Um, so that way when I went to Wisconsin, I didn't have to worry about my bills. Um, oh, that It meant so much to me just because he knew that I needed that time with my family 
and how important that was. And he knew how stressed out I was about not working and just everything that had happened. And for him to do that for me, it's, it's incredible. So thank you and I appreciate it with all my heart. Um, but yeah, so if it wasn't for him, honestly, um, I would be in some pretty big, deep shit. <laughs> but anyways, that is my budget for January. I really hope I can stick to it. Maybe we should go into my debt and how much I'm planning on spending for each debt. I have three debts left. I have my Chase Slate, my Chase Freedom, and my Credit Union. So for my Chase Slate, I'm only going to put $100 away. The reason why though is because Gary still needs to pay his portion of the vacation which is $661. That balance has that money on there. So when I take away, let's use my new calculator, 872 minus 661. I can't even freaking, my hand doesn't fit my phone. That leaves me with a balance of $211. However, my portion still hasn't posted. They're going to apply that sometime in sometime this month, and that's $524. Um, I already paid my other portion, so that's going to leave me with a balance of $730, $735. I'm going to add an additional payment of $100, so by the end of the month, I should have $635 as a balance, and I'll pay that, obviously, all the way up until the vacation. So then Slate will be completely paid off. My Chase Freedom, which is a stupid car that I have that has so much freaking interest and I hate it so much. I'm just going to do the minimum and I think it's like 60 bucks. So 360, 3697 minus 60 plus like a lot of fucking interest. I should be at like, um, this is what I should have, but I'll probably be at like, 3,650 or something. I don't know. But I'm going to look into doing a balance transfer for this for this card. Now, my UW Credit Union, I have 2421.87 and I think my minimum is I want to say $48. So let's say 50 bucks. So I should have that much. Maybe like 2390 is what I'll be at, but we'll see. So I'm planning on doing 60, no wait, hold on, let's go back, 100 plus 60 plus 50. So I'm going to hopefully put $210 towards my debt, hopefully more if I can make a little bit more extra money, but if not, then that's fine. That January, I know, is going to be hard. February might be hard as well because I don't think I'm going back to work until that middle of February or the end of February. I don't know. And then March, um, once I go back to work, I'm actually only doing part-time up until, I think, April. And then I work all of April and then I go on vacation. So yeah, my it's a hot mess. Like, usual but it's gonna be better once I actually start making some money on the regular so I'm like I I couldn't look at it, you guys I think about it this way I think that's why I'm in such a better mood today is because I'm making it without making actual money on the regular so once I start making extra money I'm gonna be like I can actually pay my bills and I can like have food on the table and yeah um, I just, it's been a crazy ass journey already and I'm only, what, five months in. That is it. I will keep you guys updated on what's going on. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram just because you get a little bit more of an insight. For example, I give you guys um, information when I post new videos. You also get a little bit of insight in my personal life. I promise you, I, tr I will try to put some makeup on or try to put some lashes on or try to brush my hair or something. But until then, thank you guys for sticking around and I appreciate it. So once again, y'all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.